Alright guys, so a few people have asked me how to get audience mode working on the Goggles 2 to the Goggles V2 and today I just wanted to show you how I go through that to get that working so it does work. What I've been hearing is that it doesn't work for the Vista but it works for the O3. So I have the O3 here on one of my quads. I'm going to power that up, get my Goggles connected to it, get some video out from the Goggles 2 and then also turn on audience mode on the Goggles V2. So I'll get that all running up right now. Alright, so I've powered up my Goggles 2 and also getting the O3 powered up. These two are already bind, binded, so I'm just going to plug in the DJI Fly app so that you can see it come through the video on the tablet here. Alright, so when connecting this, I noticed that the OTG cable has to be on the goggle side and the other end to the tablet or the mobile phone device that you're using to connect. So, we'll just have a look inside and there's image alright so I do get image on my goggles and here I've got the go fly showing up on the tablet so there you go I have the video showing up on the tablet of the actual video so I can show you what there image coming through alright to set up the audience mode on the goggles 2 to broadcast you go into transmission under pilot you'll see broadcast there with a the channel number and then you set that to on so now I'll power up the goggles v2 and then turn it on to audience mode now one thing to note when you have it on the v2s is that you have to go into the avata mode because the o3 operates in the avata mode and that's how you get the audience mode to work so I'll plug in the v2s wait till they power up I can't show you it on here at the moment but inside the goggles v2 you have to go down into transmission over to audience mode and then it should show up if you have enabled the broadcasting on the goggles 2 on the v2 you'll see that there is the channel that it's actually broadcasting my one says 173c and i can now get the videos out of the v2 so one thing i've found that's quite interesting is that on the goggles 2 right now you can see the image coming through onto the DJI Fly app, but on audience mode on the V2, you can also get that video coming out as well through the DJI Fly app. So I'm just gonna unplug it here. You'll see that I'll just take out the OTG cable, which obviously disconnects it from the DJI Fly app on the tablet. Now I'll plug this straight into the goggles V2. I'll just allow it. And there you go, it has the GoFly app and it shows the video. Now it seems to be a bit stuttery, it wasn't doing that before. It's not stuttering on the goggles but you can see that it does show the image here going through the DJI Fly app from the V2s to the tablet there. So it's enough for me to show you that it's working and coming through the goggles. In the goggles it works just fine, it's not, there's no latency. I have, I'm not going to be doing any range testing on seeing how it works how when we go to far distances but for now at least you can see that the image is coming through so you might have to trust me that the uh, video is coming through the goggles just fine so there you go that's just showing the audience mode happening on the goggles v2 and the goggles 2 um, broadcasting over i haven't tried it the other way around i might give that a go for another video but that's it for now I hope that helps some people out there because a few people have asked it um, to me and also on Joshua Badwell's channel. So that's just something that uh, some people might find handy. So anyhow, hope you like the video. Hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.